Okay, good day everyone. Today I want to share is about on with. Okay, so today I want to communicate the MVR. Why is the MVR with those axis camera? Okay, so one thing I MVR I have uh, go down through the setting. This is uh, I already do the set up ready lah. So my IP will be one nine two one six eight dot one hundred then two hundred. If this you just done the normal business setup, you will be able to enter over here already. So this is quite simple. So make sure you go to a setup. They have a camera setup over here. So you make sure your time is correct. Okay, make sure your time is correct for the current time. Okay, it's a current time. So it's nothing to do over here. So I minimize over here. So the axis camera. So sometimes we at the side there. We need to check the camera so ip so we have a access ip utilities you can download from the access general website but you firstly we go to the access ip utility we turn on be able to search the ip if the ip is not same segment you just go in to change your network parameter to the uh the this ip address so i'm now accessing to this ip address so they ask for the setup. That means this camera are under default mode. So I just put the password lah. For those already have, please, uh, maybe you need to reset your camera, or you want to remember the password is okay. Okay, so sign in. So you just go through the configuration. Uh, our Malaysia line is fifty hertz, if I'm not mistaken. So let him do have a configurations. Okay, so done ready. The camera are able to view on the live view. Okay, so we're going to set up. Make sure one thing because we are doing the on with configurations, we make sure the uh, IP address will be correct lah. So I use the IP address so one nine six one six eight dot one hundred that one. Uh, I make it one zero one lah. Okay, uh, same with those MVR IP segment because we are going to do the configurations. Okay, we save on it. Okay, so we use the new IP address. Okay, so we put the root and put the password just now. I activate the camera. Okay, so done ready. Go into the setup. So they have an additional setting over here. So we go into the system options. They have a uh, on with. So on with over here, you make sure you click the add. So you put your on with setup. So I put admin one over here lah. So I put my as you as usual the password I using. And I enter my one two seven one two eight. Okay, this is my password. If you have your own password, you use your back your own password. I put the administrator. Okay, okay. So once it's done, ready. There are nothing to do over here because on with on with we are using username, password, and also IP address. Another one thing we need to do is the time. Okay, make sure the time is correct, lah. Okay, so it's done. Done. Nothing to do over here. But you can see the time is current server time is not correct. So we have to synchronize with the computer. We save on it. Okay, so make sure time is correct already. We go into the MVR. Okay, so this MVR go into the camera setup. Uh, ch uh, channel setup. Okay, so channel setup here, over here. You click the menu. So go into the click uh, on with. Put your ca access camera IP address. Okay, and put your camera on with username and password. Okay. So click okay. So it's showing connecting successfully, but remember, Samsung we have to click apply to the fully connections. So they are already able to view over here. So I think on it, yeah, there are nothing to do over here. So cancel. Okay. Okay. So after we done the configuration already, okay. So they maybe have a. Up. So one thing we have to refresh the page first, okay? So we go into a live view. So the camera will be to have preview. So we done the connection is done ready. So we able to do a playback and everything. You go to the setup. So I just want to share is how the some how the this wise the MVR is able to do. Okay, so over here they have a profile setup. So this is a recording profile. So the recording profile is recording under one nine two zero one one zero eight zero. 
Fresh Lotion, which is 2mm, 2 megapixel, and also he supports Substroom as well. So this is good opportunity for uh, Hamwa he able to do a properly by using connection because uh, sometimes we able to use mainstream and substroom as well. So this is how the connection doing, and also on the record part. So the record part you also can be a continuous recording, and also we able to select the profile you want to record about uh, full frame or iframe. Yes, you able to do. And the recording options, you able to do a dual recording. So we can take a we can take a little tour over here. You can go to search. Yes, be able to do the playback. Okay. So this is how we doing lah. Okay. So we continue to doing those uh, SSM. So as usual, we are using SSM. But now I want to link the MVR that is a connect on with camera only. So we make sure they have a uh, wise SSM is run perfectly. It's a system manager and media get we started. Okay, so we open the uh, SSM console. So this is my fresh install wise SSM. Okay, so now I adding the MVR that is connected ca uh, on with on with M on this camera inside. So as you see, I enter configuration over here. So I take my SSM server. I take over here, I connect to this MBR. Okay, so I put the MBR ID and password. I register on it. Okay, so the MBR ready inside. So as you see, they have a channel 1, channel 2, and channel 3. Which is, uh, this is the first camera, uh, which is using Axis, and these two cameras are using HIK visions. So very easy, but we just want to clarify with you just to let you know that this MVR are connecting to the other brand cameras so I'm going to set up so as you see they have a model this is the axis and this is the HIK visions so over here we are nothing to do over here compatible so we take a look over here camera properties they are running substream so and when you enlarge it I use it mainstream so when you minimize it, minimize it is running substream so this is how we compatible so that's why you're able to preview all the cameras okay so that's all uh, but from the playback purposes also same we're going to take, take the playback yes still and still able to see the playback over here okay so this is how we prove that this why is the SSM on the back end side we still able to fully compatible okay but sorry to say that uh, some event, some motion is not compatible lah. So over here, I just telling that continuous recording is no problem. Monitoring, no problem. So make sure everything is under good ambient environment. Your time, your username, your password, and make sure the camera are support on beef. Okay, thank you. And please like and subscribe to my channel.